I, I can barely hear you. Hello, can you yeah. hear me now? Yeah, now I can. Yes, I got a I got a yeah. voicemail to call this number. All right. When did you receive the voicemail, sir? Two forty-five. It was. All right. So did you receive any case ID number? No. All right. Since you do not have any case ID number, sir, I need you to verify your basic information so that we can pull out the case file number. Okay. Okay. All right. Can you please verify your first and your last name? First name is Peter. P U T E R. Peter. Yes. Sorry? Yes, Peter. P E T E R, right? Right. All right. And your last name? Piper. P E I P E R. Peter Piper, right? Yes. A P P E I P E R, right? Right. All right. Can you please verify your current mailing address? Sure. It's forty-one fifty-seven Westwood Avenue. West. Westwood Avenue. All right. Just a moment. Uh huh. After Westwood Avenue. Westbury. Sorry. Westbury. Yes. Uh huh. New York. All right. One one five nine zero. One one five nine zero. Right. Right. All right. Just a moment. Okay. Okay. I repeat, it's four one five seven West Westwood Avenue, Westbury, New York, one one five nine zero, right? Yes. All right, just a moment. All right, so can you please verify your date of birth? Three sixteen fifty. All right. Now can you please verify your social security number to pull out the case file number? Zero eight one four two uh -huh. three eight eight two. I repeat, it's zero eight one four two three eight eight two. Yes. All right. So just be on the line. I'll let you know why the reason you received the call from a department. Okay. Okay. All right. Just be on the line. Yes. Thank you for your patience. Are you there, sir? Yes, I'm here. Yes, sir. So this call is to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action against your name and your social security number. Okay. For what? So regarding this, sir. Sorry. For what? Yes, sir. I'll be explaining you each and every information, okay? Okay. So now, sir, regarding this, we have got an order to suspend your social on immediate basis because, sir, your name and your social security number has been found suspicious for committing some fraudulent activities in the state of Texas. So, sir, are you aware about this situation which is happening under your name and your social security number? Well, no, this is the first I heard of it. I mean, how can you suspend my social security? That's what uh, I live sir, on. Just let me know, sir, state of taxes before. Did I what? You got to speak up. I, I can barely hear you. All right, sir, have you ever been to the state of taxes before? Yeah, years ago, I was in Lukenbach with Waylon and Willie. The boys, but that was a long right. time ago. All right, long time ago, right? Yeah, oh, years. All right. Now, sir, uh, can you please grab a pen and paper handy so I can provide you some primary information about this case, which you can write it down. Once you're ready, let me know, okay? Okay, go ahead. All right, so now you can note down your case ID number first, okay? Yeah. All right, so All note right. down your case ID number. All right, I'm ready. Your case ID number is D okay. as in David, C as in Charlie. Yes. Number 7869. Okay. 032. Oh, 032. Okay. All right. Now, after that, after that, write down your warrant ID number. Warrant? Yes. For what? So just write down, then I'll be explaining you why you have received the warrant ID number and your case ID number. All right. What is it? What is it? Your warrant ID number is T as in Tiger, X as in X-ray, number 59410. All right. All right? Yeah. Yes. And for your security reason, just write down my name and my batch ID number. Okay. My name is Officer Kevin Peter. Who? Kevin Peter. Kevin? Yes, Kevin. K as in Kite. K I as in K. I just as didn't hear you. Kevin Peter? Sir. Yes, Kevin Peter. Okay. Should I spell it for you? No, I just spell Peter. It's my first name. All right, I don't right spell then, Peter. Come on. Yes. All right. 
and write down my batch ID number. Yeah, go. My batch ID number. Okay. I'm ready. It's SSA. Yes, SSA. Mm -hmm. Two three nine six. Okay. All right, now, sir, as you told, you have been to the state of Texas a long back ago, right? Oh, yeah, looking back, yeah. Yes, yes. Now, let me go ahead and explain you the situation about this case. But before that, I want to inform you that the line on which we are talking right now is totally recorded by Social Security Administration and Law Enforcement Agency for quality, uh, quality and control purpose, okay? So make sure whatever you say or commit must be honest. Are we clear on this, sir? Why would I not be honest? Are you questioning my Sorry? honesty? Are you questioning my honesty? Why wouldn't no, no, I no, be no. honest? No, no. Sir, I'm, I'm just telling to be well, honest I'm because honest. this is a I'm recorded I'm an honest law-abiding citizen. Why wouldn't I be honest? Yes, sir. Please. I believe you are a law-abiding citizen. But just sir, for your information because this is a recorded line, okay? Okay. Yes. So now, sir, the investigation started under your name and your social security number when we recovered an abandoned car in the south border of Texas. The make and made model of that car was Toyota Corolla 2009 with the VIN number TX2703985011. Oh, sir, God. is this your car? Well, no, it's not my car. I don't have a Toyota Corolla. I got an F-150. Big one. All right. And sir, uh, I'm asking you because this car we found on, I we found idle on streets and when the local authorities have about, reported about this car, they found some blood and drug research inside the car, okay? They found blood and what? Sir, we, they found blood and drug research inside the car. Drug research? Which okay. made them totally enthralling and hence after the investigation, they found that the car was rented under your name and your social security number. Oh, I didn't so rent are it. Are you aware about this situation? No, I didn't rent it. Why would I rent it? Sir, first of all, for your information, I'm not saying that you have rented this car and you have done these criminal activities under your name and your social security number, okay? Okay. I'm just trying to say... I'm a, I'm a show. I'm a show. I'm a show. Yes, oh, we'll be, we will be giving you the bag. We will okay. be giving you your old social security card bag. Because I got that one memorized, to, yes. To misuse your personal identification for the fraudulent activities. And that's why we call you before you face any legal charges. As we came to know that you are a law-abiding citizen and you do not, your past records, you do not have any case on your name. That's why we try to reach you before you face any legal charges. Well, you Did said you got there's it, a sir? warrant. There's a warrant. Isn't that legal charges? Sir, there has to be legal yes. charges to get a warrant for my arrest. Yes, sir. First of all, okay, I'll be explaining you. Okay. Well, I'll be guiding you step by step, okay? okay? Step by step. Yes. Now, like, we found that this car was rented under your name and your social security number, okay? Yeah. And after that, there is, uh, we found that there is one address linked with the title of the vehicle and the address is 98023 Lakeview Parkway, Rowlett, Texas 75088. Sir, have you ever heard about this address? Well, no, I, the only place I've been in Texas is looking back. All right, because sir, I'm asking you the address in the city of Rowlett was raided by the U.S. Marshals and FBI, okay? But unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. But we recovered a consignment of 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an illegal ban and abusive drug, as categorized in this section of synthetic drug, okay? And as well as we found some documents which relates to financial institutions like Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Chase Bank, State Bank, and Wells Fargo. And that was totally under your name and your social security number. So now, the question arises when we are investigating with the financial institutes and we found thousands of dollars being wired from these accounts locally and internationally. And which seems like, which totally seems suspicious to us, okay? And as these transactions were made to the narco trafficking and terrorist countries like Terrorists. Mexico, 
terrorist countries like Mexico, terrorist. Colombia, and Pakistan. So did I say to you that you are a terrorist? Well, you I'm said terrorist to activities. You. I don't do terrorist activities. I don't do that shit. So still you're not, like, I'm, still you're not understanding I'm what not, I say. I'm really so not. I'm just trying to, sir, listen to me carefully, okay? Okay. Yes, I'm just explaining the case to you, okay? Still yet, like, we doesn't sound you like a criminal. Like, it doesn't not. sound as your... Yes, and I'm just trying to say you that someone is trying to misuse your personal identity, okay? I'm not saying you because your name and your social security number has been mentioned on the case file because under your social security number this crime has been done. But it's not, we are not sure that you have done this criminal activities, okay? So don't get panic. Okay. We'll be guiding you step by step, okay? How okay. to resolve okay. this case. Okay. okay. All right. Now, so right now your name is under federal investigation in the state of Texas with three criminal charges pressed against your name, which is drug trafficking, money laundering, and supporting to terrorism. I'm not the, I'm not telling that you are supporting to terrorism, okay? But of just course not. for a case file, yes. So now as we are having very short of time and what you have done was totally against the law of US Treasury. I didn't know and we it. Have to sign, sir, Yes, I believe you have not done, but... Well, you just said I did do done, it. You said what I did is illegal. I'm, I didn't do I'm, it. I'm saying what, what have done by the culprit was totally oh. against the law of U.S. Treasury. And that's why we have to sign the arrest warrant against your name and we have to suspend your social right away. But for this reason, two of our officers were having watch on you since from last two days and your phone calls were being tapped by them, okay? My and phone calls were being nothing, tapped. How can you tap my phone? Yes, but, so we found nothing suspicious in your daily routine. And from that only investigation, we came to know that you might be involved or not in this case, okay? And it, oh, boy. Right now, we are not sure about your involvement in this case. Did you got it, sir? Well, I don't understand how you can tap my phone. That's what I don't get. I don't like my phone sir, tap. Sir, first of all, sir... First of all, I didn't tap your phone. The officers, okay, who are having watch on you. And it's their well, part of I the job. Well, I don't want them tapping it either. I don't want anybody job. tapping it. So, who knows who so I was like, talking to and what I said. Oh. Yes, but sir, now, yes. I could have been, been talking about the peppers I picked. Oh. Sorry, sir. So so I, even I, I don't. I picked a pack of had... peppers, and I told I told Billy Bob about it, and now everybody knows about it. I want to keep those pickled peppers to myself. All right, no problem, sir. Keep it to yourself. But sir, from that only investigation, they came to know that you are not involved in this case. Okay. Oh no. So right now, yeah. even they are not sure about your involvement in this case. So now, sir, just let me know what did you understand about this case, and what is your intention towards this case. My intentions, uh, what are my choices? I don't know. How can I tell you what my intentions are if I don't know what my choices are? Right. I don't know. All right, forgot about the intentions. Or what did you understand about this case? I understand Just, the whole thing. Uh, you found a car in Rolaid, uh -huh. Texas, and it had drugs uh -huh. and, and blood on it, and yes. it's not mine, and so I don't know what else you want to know. All right. Now, so just let me know, have you ever lost your wallet or any personal information in past? No, I never lost my wallet. Sorry? No, I never lost it. And have you ever shared your personal information with your friends or your family members or with anyone else? Yeah, well, yeah, my cousin Eddie and my aunt Edna, I gave my cousin Eddie my social security number. All right. So because now we cannot he, trust he, anybody, he, okay? He needed a new RV and, and he, he needed a cosign and I couldn't go to the bank. So I gave my social security number and told him to sign my name so he can get a new RV right. because his old one, the shitter was full. So now at this moment, we cannot trust anybody because this this case we have to keep very confidential, okay? How, and you do well, not have how, to disclose this case to how anyone. How can you arrest somebody if it's confidential? Oh, boy. Sorry? If it's confidential, how are you going to arrest somebody? The yes, real guy. But, yes, so I'll let you know, okay? Now, sir, like as you told that you have share your personal information 
So now that is the only reason, sir. We try to reach you before you face any legal consequences. Okay. I wonder if Eddie like any did legal it. charges. Sorry. I wonder if Eddie did it. Sorry, sir. I didn't get you. I said I. Oh. Oh, Oh, it's my aunt and uncle. Oh, geez, will you guys quit it? Yes, sir. Who is there? Yeah, my you? aunt and uncle, they're always arguing. Sorry? My aunt and uncle, they're always arguing. What was the thing? I don't know what the hell they were saying. No, no. Who, uh, like, I came to know some noise from the background. Yeah, it was my aunt and uncle. They were fighting again. All oh, right, no problem. They're always fighting. Now, sir. And they talk, All right, no I problem. don't know what they're saying. All right, so now let me inform you that that is that was the only reason, okay? We tried to reach you before you face any legal charges. So now what? In this case, we are going to suspend your social right now to catch the real culprit, okay? And for okay. that, we need your total cooperation. So, sir, are you ready to cooperate with the Social Security Administration 